Good evening, this is Ken Long from Tortoise Capital with the review of some auto framer and regression line fractal framework trade frames for uh, close of the market July 1st, 2014. Taking a look at setups for tomorrow. Um, the first one we're going to look at uh, are the series of uh, regression line fractal frameworks. Um, and these are the ones that are uh, uh, north of their 270 regression line uh, from the Dow. So we're going to look at uh, Johnson & Johnson through Cisco. And uh, they're at least uh, four and a quarter ATRs above their uh, 270 regression line in the case of uh, Johnson & Johnson. And uh, the way we read these in general then is... Um, uh, the 270 is the purple line. The 90 period regression line is the green line. The 30 period regression line is the black line. The 10 period regression line is the blue line or our proxy for price. Uh, the dark blue shaded area is the 30 period Bollinger Band plus or minus 1. The lighter blue shaded area is the Bollinger Band plus or minus 2. That's the floodplain, so the river and the floodplain. The pink ribbon is the dragon, that is an accelerated uh, Bollinger Band 10, plus or minus 0 0.5. That gives us a early warning uh, of when the river is going to change. Then the outer red lines are the Bollinger Band plus or minus 3, all those Bollinger Bands on a 30 period. Uh, so we have uh, Johnson & Johnson. Uh, the long-term trend is up. The 270 is up. The river is sloping up. We have a price out in the floodplain. Uh, it had a white candle. You can see the parabolic stop and reverse dots here showing uh, support levels as well. Um, and then uh, anything north of yesterday's high is an auto buy. Uh, we're at four and a quarter uh, ATRs above the 270. And so if we get failure, say, below 104.40, um, the targets would be the Bollinger Band mean and then the regression line 270. That would be a 4 to 1 uh, trade back down to the uh, long term trend at the 270. Uh, this is Chevron. Uh, we have a 5.5 uh, um, uh, ATRs above its 270 regression line. Notice that it has been flat. And now it's starting to arc back up. Um, and we have prices was outside the floodplain and has pulled back uh, for five days here to the edge of the river and found two or three days of support. Uh, we can buy it at 131.40 with a target of 133.80. And then if it clears that, uh, off we go. Uh, but five and a quarter, five and a half. Uh, ATR is back uh, to the 270. Uh, Coca-Cola at uh, 5.6 to 1. Uh, 5.6 ATR is above its 270. Um, any uh, Anything north of 50, uh, 42.50 is uh, free and clear. Uh, price hovering right on the edge of the floodplain. Uh, more than 5.5 back to the 270. Two and a half ATRs just back to the Bollinger Band mean. So if we uh, had price re-enter the river, our initial targets would be the uh, Bollinger Band mean, uh, and then the 270. Uh, Intel continues to dominate. This is seven and a half ATRs above its 270. The 270 has just started to get steeper here. You can see the expansion of volatility after this big gap up. Uh, price um, sort of stabilizing here in the floodplain. Anything north of 31 uh, is an auto buy, and seven and a half ATRs back to the uh, to the 270. Uh, Cisco, after a long period of uh, sideways quiet channel, broke out today. That's an auto buy. Anything north of yesterday's high, uh, and uh, Cisco is. Uh, seven point uh, looks like seven point six seven point nine ATRs above its two seventy, which just started to get steep here. 
after a period of downward pressure. So uh, this breakout looks promising, and I would reward that if it continues. Uh, and now we're going to look at the next series of five uh, where they are below the 270. So our target is a play back to the 270 regression line. Uh, here's Pfizer um, with uh, 3.7 ATRs from the close uh, just to the 270. Uh, 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 Visa was on our um, list yesterday and uh, it had a nice move today and then if it can clear uh, 215 and off we go. So any new high tomorrow uh, is a buy with a target at uh, 223. Uh, Bank of America or is this Boeing? Excuse me, Boeing. Uh, I think looks pretty good here. Uh, we had five days of failure to fail further. It was a Z pattern, Z uh, score of less than minus two, uh, and has held for five days. Failure to fail further, and had a universal entry today. You can buy it not later than 129.50 with targets at 132.5 and, and 136, and then back to the 270. And uh, Boeing is offering uh, 6.7 uh, to 1 ATRs back to the 270. Uh, DBC, now we're into the auto framer. And this is based on uh, range risk and then a retest at 10-day high. Um, uh, blended commodities at 2.3 to 1. So uh, buying just above yesterday's high, excuse me with the target of the 10-day high, which is at the edge of the floodplain. Um, uh, VXX, uh, just horrible to be on the wrong side of this trade. But um, if we were to get uh, price above, say, 20, uh, looks like uh, 28.50, uh, target would be 31 here at the Bollinger Band main. Don't hold that one overnight. Uh, DuPont continues to uh, try to find uh, stability down here after this sharp gap down. Second day where it failed to fail further despite uh, a lower low. This is still a Z trade. I think you have to buy it not later than 65.75. Your targets would be um, the edge of the river, uh, then the Bollinger Band mean, the far side of the river, and then the 270. Uh, Exxon Mobil offering 3.3 to 1 on a test of the 10-day high. Uh, another nice uh, universal entry found support at the edge of, the, edge of the river. So this is a Z trade the other way. And Z almost at plus 3. Failure down to Z minus 1 here at the bottom of the river where it holds support. And then the universal entry to re-enter. Uh, so we'd be looking at um, uh, far side of the river, far side of the floodplain, and the 90 period regression line. And then the Z plus 3 out here uh, on a retest of the 10-day high. I think you like that because it's got a higher low and the 270 is steaming northward and it's finding support where it should find support. This looks uh, like a promising trade if we get some follow-through. Uh, here's DBA. Um, gap down but failed to fail further. Uh, finding support here at 27.30. Um, buying it, re-entering the river at 27.40 with targets at 27.70 and then 28 and 28.10 at the at the 270 regression line, and then just a retest back to the uh, 270, which has been very strong. And finally, just another look at Exxon Mobil using a slightly different array, and you can see the kind of channeling effect that we get from Z plus two to Z minus two to Z plus 2, to Z minus 1, and then the universal entry. Um, you, you find the river in the floodplain gives you a nice way to frame trades uh, that are adjusted for volatility and lets you see the reward to risk ratios uh, in a pretty handy fashion. Uh, now just a couple, uh, a couple of trades that we had earlier today. Let's uh, Uh, this is uh, a, an XIV trade, stocking an intraday on three-minute charts, buying the sideways quiet channel breakout here at 40, whoops, excuse me, at uh, 
55 with a 30 cent stop uh, buying the second position on the next breakout at about 45.85, 45.90 uh, and then uh, adjusting our stops as we go. Once we start getting this uh, uh, price and then the dragon and uh, the 30 all leaving the river and uh, the river steepening its upward move, uh, get a nice trade there. And then the, uh, uh, the exit on this one uh, was up here at about 46.50. Uh, um, and then when the the price and the 10 and the 30 roll over and cross the 90, we can cash. The I want you to notice the symmetry of the move from um, the regression line 10 uh, above the 270. Uh, if you cut and paste that over here now, when price has crossed the 270 and found a low down here, um, it's a symmetrical move on the other side of the 270. 270 rolls over. It's at an extreme low. Uh, we buy, we buy a second position, and then we end up uh, cashing uh, shortly uh, thereafter at forty again at forty six uh, uh, at forty six forty five uh, once more, and uh, are able to cash a couple R. The first trade was four and a half R. The second trade was uh, was two R even, and uh, two nice trades. So that's the uh, the trade frames and the regression line. Fractal Framework and the Auto Framework trades for tomorrow, for, uh, for July 2nd, and then a couple intraday trades with XIV just to demonstrate the technique in action. Um, this is Ken Law from Tortoise Capital. Keep your risk measured and your powder dry.